Hey guys, so today I'm going to be giving you some of my tips on how to stay organized in college. So basically my first and main tip is to have a planner. Now this is my planner from last year. It's just a me planner that I got at Target and it has, um, it has monthly layouts like that and then it also has daily layouts like this. And basically in here, I would just write down big things that I had each day on the monthly one. So like, there's a quiz here, and I have a meeting here, I have training, there's an exam that day, things like that. Then on these pages, I'd write down my daily homework. So like, read this before Friday, study for this quiz, read chapter two, write the response, blah, blah, blah. And I'd write that down on here, and then I just cross it off when I'm done. Now, I used to color coordinate things, and things used to be colorful in here, but um, I kind of just got lazy and stopped doing that and just started writing with a pencil, but really whatever works for you, but a planner is very, very helpful. And this is my planner for this year, so I've already started planning, let's see, well I have Again, this one I actually did color coordinate some, some school things in green and my work schedule in purple and other things in blue and my babysitting schedule in pink and things like that. I've also started planning my things in semester at sea in here. So I have like when I'm going to be in Barcelona and when I'm going to different places like my field programs. And then I'll also go through and put in here all of my school things, like when I have tests and things like that. And that I do have color coordinated right now, but that's because I have time and I haven't gotten lazy enough yet to just start writing in pencil. But I think a planner like this is just so helpful. You can write down everything you have going on. I think the um, bigger pages, like, this that have the whole month are really useful to write down big things and then you can use these smaller pages that have lines for each um, day. You can use that to write down your daily assignments and things like that. So really just invest in a planner, it will save your life. Okay, maybe not that far, but it's seriously so helpful. And it really helps you to stay organized and not procrastinate and know when deadlines are coming up and you won't miss them and you'll just be less stressed and better off, honestly. So one thing that I kind of did touch on going through my planners is color coordination and I know that really helps some people and I think it is a good way to be organized. For me, I always like to color coordinate my classes and somehow last semester it all worked out so perfectly that my textbook colors even matched my notebook and folder colors and everything for that class. Somehow everything just aligned and it was perfect. Now it's not always the case, it's not always going to be that perfect. You can at least get like a separate color folder or binder for each class. So I used to get the like three ring binders and I would use those for class, but recently I've started just going with a folder and a single subject notebook for each class. So this is the school supplies that I plan to be taking with me on semester at sea. And I showed this a little bit when I got it. But basically I just have four folders, one for each class. And I have already put the syllabus for that class in the front here so that I always have that. And I think that's something that's really important. When your teacher first gives you your syllabus, put it somewhere safe and where you will always have access to it. And always refer back to your syllabus, read through the entire thing, and just look at it. So here's an example of a college syllabus. It will have your faculty name, and this is for a semester at C, so it's a little bit different, but it's still pretty much the same. It has your faculty name, email, the class, how many credit hours, what prereqs are for it, all of that. And then throughout the syllabus, it will just have your learning objectives, what textbooks you need, and an entire outline for the course. Now I know this is, I need to print this out again in color. It did not work in black and white, 
but here it just says, uh, you know, what day it is and what you're going to be learning that day, and then what homework you have and what things you have due. So for example here, we're just learning about Greece, and we need to have like, these things read, and we have to have the reflection number two writing thing due. So definitely always look at your syllabus, it'll tell you what you have to have do and what you have to do for next class. And this is seriously like your lifeline. It has when your exams are going to be, how, uh, how much everything is weighted. So like here my written assignments are 30% of my grade, that's good to know. And here they even have what we need to write for each reflection that we have to do. So your syllabus seriously just has everything you need to know about that class. So keep this and keep it in a good safe place. Now what I've started doing these past years is I have a folder and then I have matching colored notebooks. I also don't have a blue notebook right now but I plan to get that on the ship. I think I'm just going to get one of the blue ones they have that says semester at sea on it and I'll use that for my global studies class because Everyone takes that class and it's basically about semester at sea, so I'll use that to go with my blue folder that's for that class. So this just keeps me really organized and I know, oh, when I'm going to psychology, I need to grab my purple folder and my purple notebook. And now I have everything for that class and it doesn't take up very much room and it'll really keep you organized. Another way I sometimes organize things are in three ring binders like this one and this is a kind of smaller one that's only half an inch thick. But in here I've started putting things, now again since I am doing semester at sea my school's a little bit different because I have my passport and yellow vaccination card and things like that which of course you won't need in a regular class but I have it. I also have like my schedule here with my A days and B days so I know when I'm taking my classes. And again, they're even color coordinated with the folders that I have for each class. And then this is just helpful for when you're still trying to learn your schedule. I know my schedule is actually very easy, but I can still glance at it when I forget and I could slip it in the front clear cover here or something if I want that. But in here I basically just have these labeled. I have my like voyage prep here which has tons of information in it like where we're going, um, how to stay in touch, what finances we need, vaccine information, all of that, all good stuff. And I have another tab for field programs and I've printed out a piece of paper about each field program that I'm signed up for. And field programs are like in-country excursions that Semester at Sea arranges and you can sign up for them. It's so like I have one here to go see Athens and Acropolis and it tells me what I'm doing, when we're leaving the ship, when we're returning, all that good stuff. The rest of these I'm not really going to show you guys because it's important like medical information and my passport information and all that good stuff. But basically, I just have things organized here with labels down the side, and I have these little folders to put them in. You can also hole punch things and put them in there like that. Another important thing to staying organized is just to manage your time and not procrastinate, and that's again where the planner really comes in handy. You can set out specific like study times and when you're gonna do everything, and you can have a school section and work section and just social life section and plan out when you're gonna get everything done. I also just wanted to show you guys this little contraption that I got recently. It's from wellspringgifts.com and I have uh, one of these, well something very similar to this that I use for waitressing and I open it up and can write things down on here and it's very useful. It has the pen and pad of paper. Uh, but then I went onto their website because I I had to get another one because my old one, the pen ran out of ink and I had been using it so much that it got old and I saw these and they have the padded paper here like the usual ones and you can also flip it over and it has some sticky notes here and it still has the pen and I just think this is really helpful so you can 
you know, write things down on sticky notes or little tabs. These are really useful to put into notebooks or your textbooks. And this is also really helpful if you just want to jot something down real quick. And I used to actually use one of these basically as my agenda a few years ago. And I would just write down my homework on here. And when I had it all done, I'd just rip it out and I didn't have to think about it anymore. So something like this is also just really useful to have and it's very easy to carry and it's just a nice little contraption. Anyway, I basically just wanted to give you guys some of my own advice and experience of what I've done to try to stay organized through my classes, have everything in one place, look at the syllabus, and just really stay on top of things. Because I know that if I'm unorganized and everything is a mess, then my life's going to be a mess and everything is just going to be bad. But if everything, if I keep organized, my life's going to be good and everything's going to be good and I'm going to do better. So yeah, I hope that some of this helped you guys and let me know if you have any questions in the comments or anything. And yeah, I just hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!